Dear students, welcome to Study Buzz, the online study channel. Today we are going to study design thinking for class 2. Let's have the overview. The worksheet number is 1, 2, 3 and 4. The topic name is Weather Diary, Weather Investigation, Materials Hunt and Testing Properties. The book name is STEM Connect 2. So this is the first worksheet. The topic you can see Weather Diary. A detailed video is already uploaded on this channel. I will share the link on the description box. This worksheet was solved in the summer season so mostly the days were hot. So from Monday to Sunday the worksheet is filled as sunny day. So when you are working on this worksheet you can fill the worksheet according to the climate where you are. This is the worksheet 2 and the topic is weather investigation. The instructions are Rohan and Anu want to know more about why materials are chosen for different purposes. They have written some questions they would like to investigate. So let's read this out. The first question is which material would make the best bottle to store ice? So plastic is the material which is best suited for making a bottle. Next question. Which material would be best to dry yourself with after being in the rain? The nylon and polyester are the materials. Third question. Which material would make the best umbrella? So polyester and nylon are the best material for making umbrella. Fourth question. Which material would make the best raincoat? Rubber and polyester are the best material for making raincoat. And the last question is, which material would be the best for a sun hat? So cotton would be the best material for making a sun hat. Worksheet number 3. The topic is materials hunt. The instructions are, go on a materials hunt. How many objects made from wood, glass, plastic, metal or paper can you find? Write, draw or paste photos in the table. So in this worksheet what you have to do? You have to just mention the name of the objects which are made up of particular materials like the first material is given wood. So from wood you can see around the doors, tables, sometimes few utensils, photo frame, racks. These are the objects you can find in your house which are made up of wood. Second material is glass. So you can see mirror, bowl, mobile screen, bulb and many more kind of objects in your house which are made up of glass. And from plastic, bottle, dustbin, bag, water, color box. So these are the objects which are made up of material plastic. The fourth material is metal. So almira, tap fan, door. These are the objects which are made up of metals. And the last material is paper. So drawing book, notebook, cardboards and many other kind of objects are made up of paper which you can see in your house. So like this you can fill this worksheet. A detailed video is also uploaded on this channel. You can see it. Worksheet number 4. Testing Properties. Instruction. Collect some objects and fill out the table below. Can you work out what material the object is made from? The first one has been filled out for you. So what are the parameters given here? First one is for objects. Second one is material. Third one is whether they are hard or soft. Fourth one is soft. Fifth one is flexible, fragile transparent waterproof and shiny so first object is a spoon so spoon is the material which is used to make a spoon is metal and of course a spoon is hard which is made up of metal is it soft no spoon is not soft flexible can you bend a spoon no so it is not flexible fragile so can you break it into pieces no, a spoon which is made up of metal, you cannot break it. Transparent, can you see 
through e that spoon easily so no so it means this is also wrong the spoon which is made up of metal is not transparent the waterproof parameter so spoon is waterproof because spoon never absorb water and the last parameter is shiny so yes a spoon which is made up of steel it shines next object is door so door the material which is used for making a door is wood it is hard it is not soft it is not flexible it is not fragile it is not transparent not waterproof and shiny the third object is rubber band so it is made up of rubber it is not hard so it means it is soft it is flexible you can stretch it easily it is not fragile you cannot break it into pieces so like this you can complete this worksheet number four and you can use different other objects which you can test by yourself and fill the blank spaces on the basis of properties given here hope you have understood this worksheet and if you have any problem please watch the video again thanks for studying